Hello music lovers, we got a special video for you involving the Harman Kardon Gold Play Generation 2 speaker, Bluetooth speaker, which has a problem and doesn't start. Without starting, uh, you will think that uh, a lot of people think that is the internal battery management fault, but uh, it's not like this. A lot of people changed the battery and the speaker didn't turn on. So we have a solution for this problem. It's not very complicated. It's an internal part on the internal mainboard of uh, this speaker. Uh, but also this video is for doubling the battery of this speaker. And it's a real doubling of the battery. We have a previous video that we talk about a battery of 13,000 milliamps. That is a fake battery, fake milliamps. In real uh, life, that uh, it's a company Hey S A B B A T H uh, Sabat. I don't know exactly to pronounce it, um, which promises to have four and a half times the original capacity of the original battery of the Harman Kardon, uh, which has only 3,000 milliamps. And uh, it's a lie. I don't recommend you to buy from that company. I talk with the company Hey say bait uh, and they told me that it's a real capacity so that capacity it's a rubbish capacity it's a fake capacity for you to make you think whoa it's like four times more capacity of this new battery let's buy it no it's the same capacity as an original one so i give you this video guys to give you uh, heads up. So we have a previous video that give you a trick guys because the overloading of uh, this original batteries of Harman Kardon Goblet 2 um, when it makes you the three dots we give you a trick to conserve your battery if you have still a working good and to prevent that battery from wrecking it. We look at uh, our, our other videos a couple of weeks ago that uh, we made and give you a trick how to conserve and protect that battery and uh, you will see also the this new battery of Sabak company which is a lying distributor I think it's a distributor on AliExpress you will find these batteries and we measure both batteries the original one has 3000 milliamps with 112 grams and uh, the Hey, H Sabat battery has 13,000 milliamps, which the same, listen to this, the same grams, 112 grams. How is this possible to be four times more capacity than the original one if it has the same weight? I bring into your attention that uh, both batteries I lead to I won. Uh, the manufacturers told me of H Sabat or the distributors, I don't know who I talked on AliExpress, that it's a real capacity, blah, 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 some bull of this. It's a lithium ion. If it was a lithium polymer, yes, the lithium polymer is lighter. A capacity of lithium polymer to equivalent uh, 3000 milliamps must have, I don't know, 50 grams, 60 grams, because lithium polymer are. 40% lighter than lithium ion. So be careful guys, do not buy these batteries. Buy an original or some manufacturer that tells you exactly 3000 milliamps and measure the weight of the battery to convince yourself. The second thing I want to talk with you is the Harman Kardon service center of Bucharest that I send the speaker to the service center. And guys, if you have problems, send it to the service center. And be careful when the service center send it to you back, make sure on when the five dot is clipping and after the charging is done all the leds must turn off no led must remain on after the three hours of charging on the original battery three hours it takes and the harman kardon uh, service center after they put me the second battery the charging process stayed after the charging was relatively complete at least i thought it was complete three dots still remain and that three dots that will remain permanently days years if you let the speaker into your wall socket at charging it will 
charge infinitely your battery until it will destroy it. And it destroyed my management system of the battery and that internal uh, component, electronic component on the main board that I will show you how to change it. And the speaker didn't turn on at all, no matter what I did. So uh, shame on the Harman Kardon service Bucharest. I hope the Harman Kardon uh, technical team on Europe will see uh, because I'm not the only Romanian had problems with the Harman Kardon service center. I told them this problem. They didn't want to change my mainboard of uh, or repair this uh, electronic uh, piece on the entire mainboard, which is a simple thing in my conception. But uh, they said they will have expenses at, at if they will change me my mainboard or other things into my warranty. And I told them the warranty must be respected you, and you got to change every defective piece under warranty. You are obligated. They told me to go like this and after one year after I lost the warranty, I think it's two years, the speaker crashed and did not work anymore. So guys, enough of talking. Let's go to the mounting procedure. I'm going to show you the responsible uh, electronic inside your speaker and be very careful. Go to a, a specialized uh, technician, electrician who will replace. Uh, do not try to replace it yourself. And with the batteries, be careful guys not to search short circuit your uh, speaker or have other problems to ignite your home uh, god knows what if you are don't know the basic of electronics do not get into this process now guys inside this speaker it's a main board the entire main board that will give you the sound and will, will uh, amplify the sound has some components well, you had problems to the speaker and the speaker does not turn on when you push the power button because it's a defective component, not necessarily the battery. So guys, if you are seeing now the images, will present the main board and you can see into these images the speaker, the drivers, a radiator and the main board where it says 6R8 it's a defective component. Well, guys, this is the in the middle, the defective part. It's called 4894G. This 4894G, it's an electric component called MOSFET. This MOSFET uh, basically do, does not let the battery discharge completely. It has some values that um, will protect your battery let's say for example it's a protection for your battery this component wrecks guys you will find it uh, not very easy this component but look for it it exists and if you have an electrician go to it to change your um, this uh, piece because it's not simple you can do it soldering by yourself but be very very careful um, remove those all the plastic covers you see the plastic um, where is the battery remove that entire support of the battery before doing this and take a lot a lot of patience be careful is uh, resistance there um, there are a lot of components if you wreck uh, or move a component they are so small you cannot solder uh, solder back so when you will change this uh, MOSFET, it will work. Be careful and uh, put uh, exactly number MOSFET. I don't know exactly what to recommend you in this next scenario is to remove this MOSFET completely. This MOSFET is broken, it's burned. Um, when you remove it, the speaker will work. I don't know exactly how it will charge your battery, how it will... Uh, uh, protect your speaker without this MOSFET so I don't recommend you to leave it without it's a protection for your speaker God knows what happens if you remove this MOSFET this MOSFET I think also has the purpose of stopping the charging when the charging is done it will stop the charging to your battery now guys the procedure is very simple to double your battery we used this H say bad company and we take the defective uh, original battery, we opened it up. I told you it has 
two uh, slices. One slice is 3.7 volts and one slice is 3.7 volts. United, it equals 7.4 volts. So we opened up the uh, that uh, Chinese uh, battery. I think both of them are Chinese, but this is not important. One slice I put it in parallel to the other new slice and the other old original slice I put it to the new slice, making in parallel 3.7 with 3.7. Now, guys, I doubled the milliamps. I doubled the, not the voltage, the milliamps, the power of the batteries. And I put these old slices of the old battery, which is functional, behind the management system, not after the management system. This is very important. I put them exactly on the new slices, exactly before the management system of the new, this new battery. So I double the capacity. If you want to extend your battery life, buy two uh, new batteries of 3000 milliamps, don't go at 5000, 7000, 13000, don't go at these capacities, lying capacities, uh, buy two 3000 milliamps and do this procedure like we do and you will not have problems uh, replace that defective component on the entire mainboard, insert these two batteries inside your speaker and you will double your capacity, you will listen to 10 hours at a high, not at the maximum volume, but at a high volume to music and to a great sound. And guys, uh, I have a request to you, if I solve you a problem for this speaker, uh, you got to donate button, new button there, you can donate uh, as little as you want for us, for uh, helping you with this idea, and do not forget to subscribe that button. Guys, let me tell you what I have done. I have made some modifications, optimizing and uh, making a large battery of uh, 6000 milliamps. So I have here two cells of the original Harman Kardon battery, which was somehow good in 70%. And uh, you know, we after we uh, replaced that electronic component on the main board, on the entire main board, everything works. So. Here I have the battery, uh, this is the, let's say, producer battery, the OEM, and this is the OA battery. So I put them in parallel. I will not show you how I done this because you got to have some electronic skills. I don't want to encourage those people who don't have any electronic skills and they make uh, improvisation and could do damage burning uh, their speaker or other uh, their house even. So here I put in parallel to the battery. This one is just a sponge to prevent the vibration and something else to stay stick the battery. I took out from the original batteries, original cells, this circuit, and I left only one circuit. So now uh, it will stay a little bit long to reach the voltage of four cells because our uh, four cells now, two in the manufacturer battery and two into the original, 7.4 volts and uh, at full capacity 8.4, 8.5, something like this. And it will charge them uh, slower, but it will charge them, but it's a double capacity. And uh, I uh, made a test, these batteries, original batteries are still good, so I want to use them. And uh, you can understand, guys, that when I will use these batteries, um, it will uh, string up. And if you are using the this speaker at the higher volume, it will uh, not force the batteries. This will be the main thing. I'm concerned a little bit, I'm uh, gonna tell you sincerely, of the charging of these batteries. I don't want to the charging to affect the charging system. It's the same voltage, but it's um, double the, the amps. So doubling the amps, uh, I hope it will not force the charging state. So I will put into the back of this speaker. We have a lot of space there on the bottom of it. 
just like this and I will try to put the, the wires with sponge not to vibrate in the speaker so they are slim they i hope it will not affect and i believe it will not affect the sound inside it because are very small this is the final result so i put sponges how i could so these are the batteries are well fixed there and glued to that surface i will try to leave this space open to get cross these connectors to let the passive subwoofer here to oscillate in the front and in the back and uh, the wires not to touch anything i will put here some this material i didn't find exactly sponge but i hope uh, it will not uh, touch anything to vibrate and cause uh, some uh, some unwanted sounds but i will compress the wires i will make a management as i will close up the entire speaker the important thing is on this uh, drivers not to the wires not to touch the drivers and if the wires are touching the drivers be aware to touch the sponge uh, only the sponge to touch the drivers because it will not vibrate sponge absorbs vibrations so this is pretty much it the charging is good close the speaker i hope you like this project guys and we got to think like this a speaker now um, with 3000 milliamps stay at charge three hours right okay when you are doubling the capacity i don't think will you will force something because it, the charger has uh, 19 volts at three um three amps which is very powerful and will charge you but the charging time will double in a little bit will be seven hours of, uh, of charging the complete battery and think like this think like me if you want to be as original charging time let the speakers in the, your wall three hours and you'll have a half of the battery right and you will listen to the manufacturer says six hours uh, of harmacarbon you'll have five hours let's say of music if you want to charge it full leave it doubled like seven uh, like seven hours and you will have a 10 hours music listening uh, which is awesome and uh, guys share this video help others because there are a lot of people who paid a lot of money for these speakers and had problems with the batteries it happens i didn't expect it to happen to harmacardon i still believe harmacardon it's a premium brand you know we in our weekly show we present uh, premium brands and a lot of manufacturers uh, appeal to us to review their products like uh, uh, Harmacardon, Starline, uh, uh, Xiaomi, 70 May, uh, there are a lot of even gear best Bang Google appeal to us to review their products. Now, I cannot get enough for the speaker. How was the video, guys? It was good for you. I hope it helped you. I hope you fixed this your speaker and now you can enjoy your premium sound. You can enjoy this wonderful speaker. It's a little bit of more heavy with uh, 112 grams like a mobile phone and do not forget that button guys on the video donate if you want to donate for us for this idea you can push that button thank you for watching and have a great day guys see you bye